back for another perfume review and that is from the house of Oscar de la Renta and the perfume is called Bella Rosa. I have the 3.4 fluid ounces here and I'd like to show you the bottle. So the bottle is like a pale pink color with lots of roses on it and the metal part is like a it's really hard to tell in this lighting right now but it I would say it's like a pale gold with a slight hint of pink on it so the roses don't go all the way to the back it's just in the front it's a pretty nice bottle I think it is very eye-catching um, the day I got this and I put it on the drawer uh, on the on my vanity area my husband immediately noticed and he said that he does like the bottle so the bottle is pretty nice the cap is pretty tight hmm and it smells very good okay so let's go ahead and start with the notes which i don't really like to depend on the notes or refer to the notes when i am trying to have my own first impression on a particular fragrance i do like to um interpret it or um have my own yeah have my own impression at least on the first time I'm, I'm experiencing a fragrance but just for reference purposes for you guys who are interested in the notes so according to Fragrantica it is considered as a Chypre floral fragrance which I don't really agree on the sh I mean I don't really get a lot of the Chypre um, uh, aspects of it I think it's more of like a fruity floral perfume Anyway, it's, they classify it as a Chypre floral fragrance. It's released in 2019. Top notes are pink pepper, freesia, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are pink rose, jasmine, and orris. Base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, and amber. Okay, so just to tell you a quick story. Um, when I do go to the mall, I shop, I shop around. I always like to sniff things around. Uh, there's where I live there's plenty of designer fragrances um, not a lot of the niche ones which is to me my personal love I I'm, I'm a niche fragrance girl anyway as I was sniffing around with my sister-in-law actually we came across this particular fragrance and on, on just on first sniff I actually really was impressed because it's hard for me to be impressed with like designer fragrances now I just find them in general I find them very basic and, and you know expected like you already know what to expect but this particular one I think um, just on the first spray I was already like that's pretty good that's pretty good but of course I didn't buy it immediately I got my own sample and I tested it and tested it until finally I actually did get it not from the mall though but I got it online for a better price um, and I think it's really good for a designer fragrance that is my overall impression up uh, not just on the first impression but my overall um, impression yes <laughs> of this particular fragrance it is pretty good and it is um yeah it is actually really really nice okay so let's go ahead with in with the review okay hmm and i'll show you the sprayer as well here we go okay so let's what like what i said a while ago i think this is more of a fruity floral fragrance um in terms of the so the opening it's initially very fruity and floral at the same time so the fruity aspect of it i would you know not not again not referring to the notes just on how i smell it the way i would describe the fruitiness is to me it smells like juicy sweet strawberries with cream so it's like a juicy sweet strawberries and cream but more like like juicy strawberries that's slightly creamy and then of course the floral aspect of it is there is the heavy dose of rose i do smell a little bit of the jasmine there but it is definitely rose 
prominent as the name says Bella Rosa so the star of this the star of the floral aspect of this perfume is definitely the rose so if you're somebody who doesn't like rose or any sort of type of rose I would not recommend this for you but as I have explained before I am not a fan of rose but actually I, I want to take that back because I have realized as I progress into this hobby of uh, fragrances I don't want to say I don't like rose I don't like rose when it is it smells very literal or fresh but at the same time I have actually smelled fragrances with literal fresh uh, rose scent that I do actually like you know I'm not I'm not really put off by it whatsoever so it just has to be the right blend uh, you know like uh, there are things sometimes like a particular color um, that you like maybe like the color I don't know the color red but not all shades of red you do like there are you know shades of red that you don't like and there's like shades of red that are your favorite type of uh, of red so that's the way I would describe my relationship or my um, my thing with the with the rose is it just has to be the right blend it has to be the right type uh, you know I have to be in the mood for it and so on and so forth so you get that okay now so going back to the opening it's very fruity very juicy strawberries and a very rosy with a slight ever so slightly tart tartiness or tartness um, yeah and the opening doesn't really last very long so you get um, maybe within 10 to 15 minutes you it, it almost immediately jumps into the dry down and the dry down is not really that different from the opening or the mid so you, you get this, you, you spray it um, and then it immediately goes right to the mid and to the dry down. And I would say it's a pretty linear perfume. What you get from the beginning is also what you get into the dry down. The only difference is in the opening, you know, it's more fresh, of course, as with any perfume that has that um, fresh top notes, um, like with, the, you know, this having the mandarin orange gives that uh, uh, sweet fresh citrus um, with the um, yeah so so it's fresh more fresh in the opening but then as it dries down you do still have that fruitiness and you do still have that rose but in the dry down it's more of like a, a drier version of the opening the opening is more like a wet fresh juicy um, scent or feel and then in the dry down you just lose that juiciness and you lose that wetness and you just get this uh, dry fruit with um, <clears throat> with the rose so that is really it's a pretty simplistic perfume but that's not a really a negative thing okay I'm just saying like it's it's I, I don't want to continue to describe it to you with anything else because that's really basically the description of this perfume um, yeah I mean it's very sweet but I do enjoy the sweetness of this one because the sweetness mixed with the dried rose oh yeah I, I don't want to say that the type of rose in this one it's not like a literal fresh rose it's more of like a, I would say what a perfumey rose is you know because it's not literal it's not fresh you don't I, I don't really imagine like fresh bouquet of roses I imagine more of like a rose turned into perfume and put and mixed it with other uh, perfume notes that's why I said it's more of like a perfumey type of rose um, more of like a like a potpourri you know when you have that in a basket and it has that dry feel to your nose but at the same time you still smell the floweriness so it's like a dried flowery in a sense it's like rose potpourri 
that's fruity and sweet. Okay, so I think I have described that enough for you. Now, in terms of longevity, it is about as expected with most designer fragrances. Uh, to me, it lasts about six hours, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I do spray a ton though, like I spray a ton, but there are many occasions that I have worn this one though, that I don't spray a whole lot, and it seems like it lasts longer. But I think the culprit to that is my olfactory fatigue, that when I spray so much, I get that olfactory fatigue that I don't feel like I still smell it or it's still there, but actually it's still there because I think those times that I felt like the perfume lasted longer was the times that I only sprayed like maybe five times as opposed to 12 times. Yes, I do spray 12 times sometimes. It depends where I'm going or, or you know, sometimes I do just like to go crazy on it, on my perfumes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I think it has a pretty decent longevity. It projects pretty good. The sillage is pretty good, especially on the first 40 minutes. You have a, you have a, there's a great projection and great sillage. I have been complimented at least twice um, on this particular perfume. My husband has complimented me at least twice and he doesn't even like rose on me. Um, I don't think I've told him that I'm wearing rose perfume. Um, so yeah, he's a comp She's me complimented me at least twice and uh, I have another friend of mine who's complimented me on this. So, but, and, 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 and I know that, you know, sometimes people just won't say actually that, oh, you smell good, but you can just kind of tell on their faces if they smelled you and that they think you smelled good. So I think it's a mass uh, uh, people pleasing type of scent. Um, I, and, and I think it's very versatile. I have been wearing it to the gym. I have been wearing it most of the summer. Uh, I, you just can't see where it is. I actually don't see where it is, but if I just have to make a guess based on how it feels right now, I would say it's like about here. I, I think that's how much I've used on this perfume, at least. Yeah, I, th I think I've used it about, and, and, and I've only had this for, I would say about may, maybe for the last five, six months. I think this is my most worn summer fragrance um that's how much i love it and yeah it's it's pretty amazing for a designer fragrance um i know i keep saying for a designer fragrance I, and I, I'm, I'm not against designer fragrance don't get me wrong the only reason i'm saying that is because i'm talking about in general designer fragrances are ah, what do you call that they're all kind of the same and you know exactly what to expect the dry dance the same it's all but i feel like this one kind of holds its own like if you smell it you spray it it's different it's that it stands out a little bit more than the rest out there so yeah i highly recommend it i i, I do it's it's pretty good very versatile i have worn it to the gym like what i said uh going out to watch a movie eating out dinner um, just going out, walking around at the mall. I have worn it. I've, I've, I've worn it to our to our um, uh, religious meeting. So, yeah. Now, this is the big question that I know you've been waiting for. How is it in comparison to Delina? Now, I don't really want to go uh, to a full-on comparison with this versus Delina, but I do just want to give you a quick um, summary of what of how I think they differ. So first of all, yes, it's different than Delina. Very different. I actually sprayed Delina here a while ago and it's still pretty strong. Okay, so I, I would say though, the first time that I smelled it, when we were at the mall and the first time the lady sprayed this and I smelled it, it did immediately remind me of Delina. I think I actually even said it out loud. Oh, it smells like Delina. But, I, 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 no, it doesn't smell like Delina. But I guess you can say that, or I could say that, especially at first sniff, because it does give you that same vibe. In terms of Delina, it has that fruity, rosy, um, notes on it it's heavy on the fruit and it's heavy and it's sweet and juicy and rosy it has the same characteristics of Bella Rosa 
It's sweet, it's fruity, it's juicy, and it's rosy. But I'm gonna tell you the differences. So first of all, the type of fruit is different. So you do have that fruitiness, but Bella Rosa is more of like, to me, smells like berries. It smells like strawberries with a little bit of like whipped cream with it, or like a whipping cream. Um, Delina is heavy, heavy on the lychee. You get that lychee all throughout the entirety of the, of the scent, of the perfume. Um, with Bella Rosa, it's not really very much tart. There's just a slight tartiness in the opening, ever so slightly, not very much. With Delina, it's uh, very tart, um, mixed with that juicy fruit lychee. Uh, you know, the rhubarb gives that bitter tartiness. Um, and it's, you know, you do smell that tart note, even up to the dry down. I have sprayed uh, Delina for like the last, uh, since I, I think, um, 40 minutes ago and it's still very I still smell a lot of the lychee a lot of that rhubarb note that's tart and bitter okay um in terms of the rosiness the rose on the Delina is more of like a literal fresh rose it's like it's like when you get rose petals and you um you smush it and you get the juice out of it and you get that fresh rose scent that's slightly bitter um, maybe a little sappy with the Bella Rosa like I've already mentioned it's more of like a dry perfumey potpourri type of rose what else um, Bella Rosa is more linear what you get in the beginning is also like what you get up until the dry down of course, there's a difference in the projection and sillage. The, the more it settles on your skin, I'm talking about Bella Rosa, the more it settles on your skin, you, you lose a little bit of the projection and you lose a the, the little bit of, of the sillage. It's not as strong as is the first 40 minutes. With uh, Delina, um, it, there's definitely more development. You do get the lychee and the rhubarb note all throughout, but the rose you get it you don't get it as much in the opening of the delina you get it more towards the mid into the dry down then this fresh literal rose scent comes to surface so it's more fresh rose in the end and definitely it, the the it's it's more longer lasting um it projects more it's it definitely more of a stronger perfume um, so I would say actually overall this would be more of a versatile perfume I think you can wear this mostly anywhere pretty much like day night I don't know it's, it's basically depends on your mood like you can wear this anywhere you want with Delina of course it's the same I, I, I do believe that you can wear what you want anywhere whenever you know I, I, I don't li I don't really believe in having a uh, a summer this fragrance is only for the summer and this fragrance it's only for dinner or evening out I mean of course there it's there are times one particular perfume is more appropriate but I do believe that if you're in the mood to wear this perfume and you don't think you're actually gonna be uh, putting people in danger because of the perfume that you're wearing go ahead and wear it yeah. so yeah I do think this is more versatile though Delina it's not as versatile in terms of because it's a little bit more strong. Um, there are people who's probably not used to the lychee or even, not even have heard of what lychee is, don't know what lychee smells like. Um, you know, so they might be like, oh, what's that? That's strong. So I, it's not, this one takes getting used to. So that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna say. This one is easier to like and to love. Um, it's more mass appealing, okay? Um, now, I'm not really gonna say one is better than the other because like what I said, it's different. Um, overall, if you're, if you're probably eyeing this one, this will give you the sense of this. It will not give you Delina, but it will give you 
the sense, like the same sort of vibe and appeal. Um, and this is like, I don't know, a third of the price. So you can go ahead and start with this um, and then decide on this later if you're still undecided. I hope guys you enjoyed that one. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any sort of review and I'm happy to be back. I hope you enjoyed my description of the Bella Rosa perfume. I have made a comparison of the Delina versus Delina exclusive. I will put it in the section below in the description box. I'll put a link there for you to check out. And guys, if you are new to my channel, please do support my channel and hit that subscribe button now. Thank you so much guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.